Hello everybody and welcome back to Studio Rays. Today we're going to be talking about the Slush Squad Next Star Evolution 8 HD and Star Sense. We picked up this telescope at the Northeast Astronomy Forum, the largest telescope show and astronomy equipment fair in the United States. It took place at Rockville Community College, Suffern, New York. So I got this telescope because, well, I'm a big fan of space and I just felt like, well, why not get a telescope? So I asked my dad if I could go get a telescope, so he started looking up some things, like a place to go, since he knows I'm such so interested in space. So that's how he came across the Earthies Astronomy Forum. So when we got there, I was mind boggled. And we stepped in, telescopes everywhere. My dad was asking about them. I was looking at them, reading about them on his papers. We picked up some magazines, went around the whole place until before we had to leave, we found the telescope we were looking for, which was the next, which was the Lestron Nexus. Edge. Oh wait, Evolution 8 Edge HD Star Set. So we finally got this, and it's been a few weeks with bad weather, but we finally got good weather. So we thought, why not open this up? So we're gonna have a little time lapse video on us opening this up, setting it up. It's a huge box with a bunch of tiny boxes with what you what you already know. Has telescope pieces in it. So please enjoy this video and the time lapse that's going to be coming up. Stay tuned. Hope you don't get bored. And I'll see you at the end of the video and give you my opinions on this telescope. What else you supposed to do? It supposed to move like that. We, what else you supposed to do? It says, thread three captive mount bolts from underneath the tripod head into the bottom of the telescope. What does it mean by that? So these three... And then what do I, what do you mean by thread? Thread, you t turn it in, screw it in. Tell them what we was doing right now. Alright, so happened? we were putting the telescope together and this is an easy step, but so we had these screws, thumb size screws. So we were trying to hold on, let me get the piece. We we're trying to get this to get screwed onto here. But the but these screws wouldn't work. So my dad was like, What's going on? Why aren't they going in? So he was so he was waiting for my mom because he was going to start going out to the store and get some more screws that could fit until he started to unscrew these and then he found out that they made a mistake and they accidentally swapped out the tiny, the long screws for the tiny screws right here. So my dad had to unscrew these, put the tiny screws back in here where they were supposed to be long and now he has the longer screws right here so then we could get this onto here. All right, that uh, again. We're dealing. We're dealing with the, the star sense, right there. All this right. is our camera, so then when we're looking at stars and stuff, we could take pictures of them. No, it, it helps us align. Oh well, yeah, it helps align. us align, and then we can also take pictures. Well, that's the one, but not with that. All right, again, we have to do the bracket. Okay, when they shipped the, the the telescope to us, they swiped out. We have to put this bracket on here, but the screws that were in this location were too short and would not go on. So for the life of me, I'm understanding why this thing wasn't going on properly. 
So initially I was gonna go again, as my son said, we're gonna go to I was gonna go to uh, the hardware store and get some Morgan screws, but I realized we have the same type of screws on this side that holds the the spotter scope. Um, so I screwed those screws out and and found out those were too long, they were long. So the long screws on this side are supposed to be here, and the short screw on this side is supposed to be there. So if you guys are putting your telescope together. And you find and you're having a hard time getting your bracket attached to your evolution. Uh, change out the screws. All right, they probably messed up. Um, they shipped it to, to me. This was a demo that we bought from a local um, from a recent um, convention. So right now I'm trying to set up the star the star sense, and now I have the proper screws that I can put now back on the screw on the, the telescope. So let me continue on. So in my opinion, I think you should really buy this telescope. It's only $2,349 on Amazon. We got a $700 discount on it. And well, get ready in just five and a half weeks, Mars will make its closest approach to Earth since August 2003. So I hope you had a really good time with this video and see you next time on Studio Play.